Greetings everyone. In this video, I will go over the requirements for uh, linear algebra. Uh, this is the internal assessment for uh, mathematics in CE level 1 with uh, three credits. Um, achievement standard, uh, this is available on uh, NZQA website and I believe you would have uh, already seen this. Uh, um, so the requirement for achievement is uh, you will need to apply linear algebra and solving problems. Uh, for merit, apply linear algebra using relational thinking. Now NZQA uses uh, these jargons, so this is similar for all the mathematics achievement standards across all levels. So if you look at NZ level 1, 2 or 3, the mathematics achievement standards will use the word using relational thinking for merit. Likewise, uh, for excellence, they will use using extended abstract thinking in solving problems. Now, in order for you to um, be successful in uh, attaining the grade that you are capable of, you will need to understand the requirements for each grade that's set by NZQA. Now, uh, my goal uh, in this video is to uh, try and help you understand the requirements for this particular achievement standard. And uh, I will try and go over the uh, each of the grade boundaries so that you are familiar with uh, what's required for each grade in order for you to uh, attain the grade that you are capable of. Uh, please feel free to um, pause the video and uh, make the uh, notes as you go. Now in uh, this video, I've also tried to uh, separate the bits for teachers. Um, there will be some bits uh, uh, to help uh, teachers uh, when they are trying to uh, set tasks. So in this case, for teachers setting appropriate task uh, for the award of the standard, students must apply linear algebra and solving problems. Now this is coming from the um, NZQA um, achievement standard. Uh, what this means is that the problem needs to be um, set in a real life situation and this needs to be modeled by linear equations uh, and graphs. So uh, this uh, particular achievement standard requires students to um, model uh, uh, linear graphs, which is straight line graphs. So you will need to practice questions that are presented in re uh, real life situation. In other words, uh, it's in context. Um, the problem needs to provide sufficient scope for students to demonstrate and develop their own thinking. Uh, now, if there are parts to the problem, all the parts need to contribute to the solution. Um, a task with number of discrete uh, questions based on skills and straightforward calculations is not appropriate uh, for this particular achievement standard. Uh, so you just need to be mindful of that uh, when you are setting the uh, task. and. Uh, uh, students need to make their own decisions. Now the task uh, need not to uh, provide sequence of uh, uh, um, steps or instructions that lead to the um, uh, solution. So um, it should not be scaffolded. So please be mindful of that uh, when you're setting the tasks. Um, and uh, the conditions for assessment uh, for teachers, it says that students need to be familiar with the context of any task. Um, it is acceptable for them to uh, know the context before the assessment. So if you are a student and you are and you are preparing for this particular achievement, then it is uh, okay for you to ask the teacher what the context will be for this particular achievement standard. Uh, the task must give opportunities to demonstrate the application of linear algebra in real life uh, context. So what this means is uh, all the uh, problems must be presented in uh, uh, context, uh, which means word problem. So it's to need to uh, decipher the information and uh, use the linear algebra skills to solve the problem. Uh, students are expected to have um, an access to uh, the appropriate technology. So in this case, they should be able to use um, graphics calculator or scientific calculator to assist them with the uh, solving of the problem that's uh, presented. Uh, assessment tasks are designed so that each task provides opportunity for students to uh, 
uh, provide evidence for all grades. Uh, they are not separate tasks for each grade. Uh, in this case, holistic decisions will be used in the awarding of uh, the grade. So please be mindful of that. So uh, NZQ requires you to uh, uh, give a task where students are able to demonstrate the um, uh, their thinking at all levels. Uh, expected evidence for achieved. Now this is coming from the um, achievement standard itself. So it says uh, using um, a range of methods now range of methods means students need to uh, demonstrate at least three different skills to uh, achieve uh, this standard uh, for students uh, to achieve uh, you will need to uh, uh, form equations from the problem that's uh, presented in context uh, these are linear equations uh, you will need to draw linear graphs using the equations that you have formed or if the equation is given you will need to be able to use that equation to uh, and draw the graphs and also write the equation of a model if it's already uh, drawn for you um, also you will need to show full working uh, the um, numerical calculation only is also insufficient uh, you will need to communicate your uh, answer uh, in context so it's really important for you to um, be mindful of that um, so for example if uh, you have um, used a point or value from the graph make sure you try and draw vertical and horizontal lines uh, to represent that info on the graph for merit it still needs to apply linear algebra using relational thinking now uh, as i mentioned earlier the uh, nzqe uses uh, this jargon for uh, merit uh, you just need to know what's required for this particular achievement standard um, so um, you as a student you will need to uh, make recommendations by finding uh, the uh, range of values uh, for when different companies are cheapest um, for example and then you will need to clearly justify your recommendations now this needs to be well communicated um, you will need to also show the calculations uh, for points of intersection and intersections and interpret this uh, information in context so that's the requirement for merit uh, moving on um, for excellence this student needs to apply uh, linear algebra using extended abstract thinking uh, what this means is uh, that uh, at excellence uh, the response needs to be clearly communicated with correct mathematical statements and students uh, need to explain any decisions they have uh, made in uh, finalizing the solution uh, to the problem um, so in most uh, cases um, the um, assessment will ask you to uh, come up with a new uh, plan a new pricing plan new model um, uh, which will mimic the scenario so that the company can be the cheapest one out there uh, or vice versa so um, that's uh, what's required for extended abstract thinking so in this case you may be um, needing the information uh, uh, how to minimize the cost for example and uh, in this case you can also use piecewise function uh, if there are different uh, sections that can be modeled by those functions there um, so for excellence you will need to um, create a new and improved model uh, with correct equation or equations and this could be piecewise as well uh, to uh, make it uh, the cheapest out of all the other um, companies that may be out there in that context uh, you need to graph these uh, correctly to represent the uh, new model that you have chosen and uh, you need to um, include examples of the prices uh, uh, using the new uh, model that you have chosen and you need to clearly communicate why this model is a better one um, compared to the other models that uh, were given so uh, basically it's really um, requires you to uh, uh, have a deeper insight into the models that are already out there and try and come up with a new and improved model in the next video uh, what i'll do is i'll try and go over one of the um, exemplars uh, to assist you in understanding this uh, 
uh, much better and see how uh, it could be applied. I may be looking at uh, some of the basic skills uh, prior to uh, looking at the example. Uh, I'm just hoping that uh, you would have found this video uh, um, helpful. Um, just uh, like to wish you all the best uh, in this particular achievement standard. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.